tēnā koutou katoa, nau mai hoki mai ki te pūnua pāho o te mātāwai, a nei rā te mihi, atu kia koutou katoa, te hunga e whakarongo mai ana ki tēnei pūnua pāho. Ko Mikai Leach tōku ingoa, ko ai te kaiwhakataki o tēnei wahanga rangahau i tēnei rā, kei taku taha Maui, te taku manuhiri i tēnei rā, tēnā whakamohio mai tō ingoa, nō hea mai koe, a hea ho o mahi i a rā. Oh, well, kia ora e hoa. Um, o te rā, tēnā koutou, kei te hunga e whakarongo mai ana ki a māua. Um, he uri a hau no Ngāti Mani Apoto, ko Ngāti Pare Te Kawa Te Hapu. Um, he kaimahi a hau, o, um, yeah, he kaimahi a hau ki te kawa a Māui, ki te here ngā waka, ki wikitoria. Um, <laughs> ko ai hoki te tahi o ngā tauira omua, oi, oi. Uh, o te here ngā waka, a tēnei tāua, e mihi atu nei kia koutou katoa e whakarongo mai ana. Ko te aronga matua o tēnei pūnua pāho i tēnei rā, e hāngai tonu ana ki tā mātou, kaupaparanga hau, manoa au ki te reo Māori kātahi, kārua, kua tuhi hoki a awa nui i tētahi puka puka a i ahu mai i tēnei kaupaparanga hau. Nā reira, koe rā te aronga matua o tēnei pūnua pāho i tēnei rā. Ko te pātai tuatahi, ka tahuri au ki te reo ingarihi, um, Give us a brief overview of Manawa U conducting the study. We'll start mm. there because um, I was privileged enough to be part of that, I guess, co-design Hi. process. And it is one of the most fascinating studies around te reo Māori motivations and barriers. So could you just give us a little insight from the research side of things? Ka pai. O nga mihi um, ki a kuehua. So I was the lead um, PI um, Primary investigator, yes. sorry. <laughs> okay, <that's fine. laughs> I was trying to think, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I worked alongside um, Dr. Maureen Muller, mm-hmm. um, Tai Ahu and Liddy by Fox, um, as well as an amazing group of research assistants. Um, so we had Kaihu Haimona, Alana Haingo O'Brien, uh, Tadia Shaman. So, um, yeah, we had heaps of different people who um, contributed a lot of time to putting this together. Um and, yeah, we had support, obviously, from yourselves yeah. um, and also from Ngā Pai o Te Maramatanga. Awesome. So, yeah, mihi ana ki, a, ki, ki enei, um, e hapai ana i tēnei kaipapa hoki. So the survey was quite, um, you know, it was quite lengthy. So, yes, I um, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. So, yeah, in order to complete the survey, it took about 20 minutes and we really had to refine um, the pātai that we were asking because, um, yeah, it was so extensive. Um, and we got support from, you know, um, Aramarata, um, Chris Sibley, um, Richard Benton. So, you know, a lot of people contributed to um, putting these questions t- together in a logical way so that Fano could actually um, participate meaningfully yeah. in that quantitative space. So, um, yeah, it was really important to us that we had both the, the, the surveys um, and all of that information um, and and um, to to go alongside that, the interviews with all of our Fano. Yes. So the Fano, you know, those those interviews were, you know, they were golden. They were really beautiful. And sometimes I would, you know, I'd be reading the quotes, sitting at my computer by myself, crying, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, and and then laughing, you know. So yeah. it's the full range of emotions that um, really came through. And um, yeah, and I think, you know, anything that has to do with Te Reo Māori, um, there are all of those emotions mm. because it's so personal Deco. to all of us. In the rangaho space, we know that, you know, there's all the ethics and mm. there's quite a few rules that sometimes um, you can shy away from that mm. process. So advice around yeah, how to conduct <laughs> Māori um, studies and interview processes, yeah. I think you've you've really got the formula, I think. Oh, well, um, hey, tau yeah. ki tau, hoi anō. <laughs> yes. um, so yeah. On those particular, maybe some highlights from those group sessions. I yep. remember. Yeah. Really well, I suppose awesome. I, I also need to go back and just kia mihi atu kia Maureen, um, yes. kōrua tahi ko tai. Um, so Maureen Muller, or Dr. Maureen Muller, um, actually has a specialty, um, you know, looking at mm. Fano oh, who yes. have gone through um, Te Reo Māori as their main language in the home. Um, so, yeah, it, it was all three of us who were interviewing because we all had different takes and we all had different yeah. skills. Um, so, you know, Ty has an interest in um, the language of the law mm. and, you know, that civic space. Yeah. Um, Maureen has 
beautiful kōrero with um, some of our pakeke, our tai pakeke really It's a skill, it's a specialist yes. skill. Yeah, yeah. And you hear her, um, you know, she pauses just, you know, beautifully at the right, the right time. times. You know, yeah. Ngāwari te kawe yeah. I mean. yeah, so um, allowing our kai kōrero to actually share their kōrero um, without jumping in to too quickly or too eagerly. Yeah, eagerly. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. So um yeah, but I mean in terms of the the kōrero collection um that I was involved with, um yeah, so so what we did was um, you know, we had some in one on one interviews, mm-hmm. um and, you know, from you know, that included Fano. So, you know, we would have um Kaipapa, uh that were about you know, understanding our whakapapa and just mm-hmm. understanding who we were um, as Paretekawa. So, you know, as, as Kai Rangaho, there's no real separating the self from um, who we are as part of our wider community. So, um, yeah, some of those kōrero um, that you're talking about in terms of those wider intergenerational spaces. So what we would do is, um, you know, after we had a, a, a bit of an idea about some of the themes that were coming through, um uh, you know, we sort of collated some um, some of those themes and put them into statements, um, and then we brought them to you know a Fano Wananga, um, you know, just to say, what does this look? Does this resonate with you? Um, and you know, and within each Fano, it's not that everybody's um, like real people, yeah, or absolutely. it's just people living their lives. Yeah. And then you know, we all got to share um, what this looks like in this collective. Mm. Um, so yeah, that was in the that that those um, multiple generations we had pakeke that were, um, you know, seventy plus yeah. and right down How to our babies. How precious is that the way to be able to be yeah. part of that context that kaupapa. Manawa U is honestly the gift that keeps giving <laughs> in the Rangahau oh. space. I don't know how many times we share all the findings on social media, um, through our different channels. Tēnā koe o kōrero me te whakamārama mai and sharing those insights. So we have a book coming out that has been born out of this study, which I think is fascinating. What is the book about and what can we expect mm. to see i tēnei o ngā puka puka? Oh. Also, is there a new name I yes. hear? Yes. So, um, yeah, so, you know, it started off, um, it was it was about, you know, reclaiming te reo Māori oh. and, um, you know, we had these really elaborate long names and then I looked at it on the book and I thought, oh, that looks terrible. It's just like... <laughs> Aesthetically, it looks <laughs> Wording, <horrible. laughs> yeah, wordy as. And so, um, yeah, ko te ingoa o te puka puka, um, he reo tuku iho, um, tangata whenua in te Māori, so Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> to, to the, the point, point. Oh, 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 what more could you oh, want on yeah, a front cover tika. yeah and I think you know one of the things that um, that we've noticed in the last about three or four years are some of the tensions that are coming up between Māori and non-Māori yes, um, users and speakers of te reo um, and some of the emphasis that has been um Kind of redirected into the non Māori who are, who are learning te reo. Yes. So this book was um, a refocusing, a reshifting on centering us as tangata whenua, um, and you know, and the processes that we go through um, to to reinvite or to um, yeah. I, I don't ever think that we're disconnected yeah. from te reo, but I think, so you know, we're, it's, it's re- yeah, yeah, just or some, really... Um, it's hard to put an exact word to yeah, it at yeah. this minute, but yeah. That's okay. Mm. Um, so we had the study in Koetahi wa Tato Whānau Pākeha um, i whakautu i ngā, ngā patapātai mm. ni. So yeah. there are some non-Māori um, findings in here as well, mo te hunga e kaingaka ana ki tō tato reo. Mm. So... What are some of the motivations for our Fano Māori to use and learn te reo Māori? Yeah, from the so book, in the I book, mean, we yeah, want to focus on the book. The, the Poodle Wars okay. there, <laughs> download at timatawai.co.nz. Uh, uh, it is available. Right. Um, but yeah, if you what's yeah. what's so different from the Poodle Rangaho? Yeah, that's in the book. I think um, you know one of the things that. Um, one of our participants from the, the Te Papai Oia, um, Anna, who, who is in the study, mm. um, she said, haven't we done this already? Um, Which <laughs> so, is true. It's a lot of the so, time that Anna Ho just really affirms what we exactly. already know. But when you don't so have that's evidence, right. Yeah. yeah. And so what I, what what the Puka Puka looks at is, um, you know, what are some of those experiences? Um, you know, and it's, it's less about, I mean, 
what both of these, you know, the report and the puka puka find is obviously that our our personal connection to our culture yeah. um, is is you know that was a really strong Can driver. Can you just repeat eh? that for everyone in the back seat? Yeah. What was that one line again? <laughs> yeah, no. so you know the 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 the, the um, my connection to who I am mm. as um, Maori, as a member of my Fano, yes. as a member of my Hapu, or my you know our, mm. our, my um, the people who make me me. So yes. you know if if we look at you know identity, um, it's not enough for me to just say kia ora, I'm Awanui, mm. I'm a Maori. You have to agree with me. Yes, you know, I and do. so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so you know it's it's who are all of what are all of these aspects that yeah. um, that contribute to us feeling like we have a right to claiming who we are, you know, yes. and that's kind of... It's uh, so important yeah. in, I think, this real Māori space is that um, you can learn te reo Māori just as a language. Yeah. But when you reclaim that identity and that connection and you make that connection, it um, it changes you, I think. Mm. And, you know, I've grown up speaking te reo. I grew up in te tai rāwhiti, where I'm from. Mm. Um, so I don't know any different mm. because that's what was instilled Real in me norm. and all the sacrifice. Yeah. And so there's nothing richer than being connected to your tuakiri. And I think that's a big thing. The beauty of te mātawa is that mm. we're trying to uplift our whanau and empower them mm. to say who they are and mm. we can relate back to them through language features, through their whakapapa and their pepeha. And so... That's why studies yeah. like and books like this are yeah. very crucial. Well, I mean, you raise a really important point, Ewa, and I think um, you know, for those of us who who were brought up outside of our tribal mm. boundaries, um, you know, there's a different set of experiences Absolutely. there, and these are some of the experiences that are talked through in the puka puka about how awesome. Te Reo helps us to transition from, um, you know, some of the feelings that have have come through through colonial processes. Yep. So you know, um, it was a strategic process. Absolutely. to take away our economic bases. Mm. Um, so we had to travel, you know, to the cities. Yeah. Um, this this was a, a government-led initiative mm. to actually strip us of these things that we are now, as descendants of, having yeah. to reclaim ourselves as future generations. Mm. Um, so, yeah, the... the um, um, so it's about te reo, but it's also about um, all of the other things. Yeah. And, you know, it's not just about the motivations. It's about how we're actually enabled. So mm. I could I could want my reo, you know, and most of our whānau, that, that's, the, yeah. that's the reality. I want it, but I'm working such and such hours. Yeah. Um, I'm working in occupations that mm. don't allow me to use te reo Māori. Every day, yeah, on a daily yeah. basis. I'm discriminated yeah. against in these contexts for, for using the language that mm. I do use. So um, it's looking at society. Yeah. How societies um, contribute to to the wealth of our language, um, as well as you know, it's not just about putting the onus on the individual, which I think has been the the narrative yes. that's come through for quite some time. It's it's you know, if you want your deal, you go and you know, you yeah. make it happen. That's um, how as we as a collective, as a, as a society, we do things that's right, as a collective, and yep. we thrive in those environments. So why do we isolate? people in te reo Māori spaces. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you may know from Rangahau points of view and I guess that psychology side of things. But I think the one thing that I, what I love about, you know, the book and the kōrero that's coming out is that um, whānau Māori's feelings are valid. Mm. So you will go through all these things. Like it isn't, it isn't easy. Mm. I think that's the hard thing is like people want it to be a five minute Kua mata taurawa ho, mm. but actually you have to put sacrifice and you have to have put mahi in, um, and it's okay to fall off and jump back on. And mm. I think that's what um, yep. the beauty of manawa u is: is like we're motivated, mm. but just realise that there are also barriers in that space. Yeah. And like yeah. we don't want to focus the narrative on the negative parts, but I think the beauty of the rangaho and I'm assuming in the book, mm. um, which I'm excited about, is that it provides. Um, rongoa for mm. our whānau who are feeling like that and your feelings are valid mm. and that's what I love so much about this again the gift that keeps giving because I always I feel like I find something new every time mm. um, but I really just want to mihi to that you know putting it refocusing it back to like the book to whānau Māori mm. and um, again the rich kōrero that you were privy to hearing you um, Tai and Maureen um so if we're looking at you, we've identified some of the motivations and possi- and some of the barriers in the space. And like you said, when it's almost like me, Māori katoa to ao, mm. eh, in order for you to actually be 
immersed in it, you have to find strategies and ways mm. to do that. So on that, yeah. what advice would you give Fano parents, grand grandparents, we know our um queer Koroa mm. are big in our lives and yeah, Fano Māori. Yeah. Um what advice could you give them mm. to raising a you know, Tokorua or Tamahine? Mm. What do you what do you do? Or what's some key advice you could give parents and grandparents yeah. around um raising this next generation of real Māori, mm. uh, mātanga real mātanga i te ao Māori. Mm. What, what advice could you give parents who are, who are motivated and really um, want to push this for their whānau? Yeah, I mean, uh, again, it comes back to there's the motivation, but there's also the resourcing. Mm. So, um, you know, I, 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 um, I'm hesitant to give advice just because each of us have different circumstances. So yeah. um, whatever you can do, with what you have, that's what you that's what you need to do. You know, <laughs> yeah, so um, starting now, starting starting small, um, and then working into those bigger decisions that also have financial implications yeah. for you. So, um, you know, if if it is a, a big you know a life goal for you to have a whānau kōrero Māori, mm. um, then that sort of that that requires a lot of work from the matua mm. and a lot of planning. Um, so, you know, if I think about ourselves, um, we've recently been, um, you know, recipients of Whakatipuranga Ruamano, where, awesome. you know, the benefits mm. of all of the whānau that worked hard to to create a community that called it all, you know, that has, um, you know, mai te kohanga re o taia te ki te So, you know, oh, you you yeah, all ni. within mm. walking distance. And, you know, some so there's some real strategic big thinkers that um, went into that. But if I think back to the your question, um, what can Farno do? Um, again, it's about kind of creating our support system. So, um, you know, as Mātua Kōrero Māori, um, we found very um, early... Or, you know, kind of from about two years old, our baby, uh, like, you know, we're in a pri- privileged position. Yes. Um, we have two parents. You can um, speak fluent uh, Yeah, who, who, you know, who have had that lead in time and mm. that guidance um, to, to help us to keep called it Māori te kāinga. Um, but it's, um, it wasn't enough to, like, so our baby, because, um, you know, I have... Um, it's always a values thing, eh? Yes. So, you know, I was wanting to breastfeed my baby mm-hmm. at, so she was at work, um, you know, so she, she used to come to work with me. Um, so so that was a decision that I had to make. Mm-hmm. Ko te reo, i te kohanga reo, or no. ko te, you know, whāngai i ai a ki te u. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, and so, you know, at that first those first couple of years, I thought, well, you know, he reo kei te kāinga. Oh. But, um, that is go, a really difficult yeah. decision, like, <laughs> what's best for my baby? Yeah. I want the real fit. Yeah, exactly. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, and so, you know, transitioning. Mm. Um, but what we saw was that it was too much real Pākehā. Yeah. So, you know, outside of our, uh, like, your close bubble. bubble oh, te tēnei ahuru mō wai mō te reo. Yeah. yeah. Kakuhu mai te reo Pākehā ki roto i aia. So, um, we, yeah, we really needed to um, make some big decisions. So, you know, we went to Kohanga Reo um, that was close to our home mm-hmm. and put to her, um, but then there's kura, and so you know, um, so that's why we made the shift to Otaki, um, which again that puts you know that puts a burden on um, that space as well. Yeah, you know, we, we don't have you know like obviously money up to these connections with Reikawa, but um, we haven't contributed to that space, mm-hmm. and so now going into it, um, it's you know you're sort of you're taking that from next level of like yeah, decisions. Exactly. And yeah. I think that was the key thing that you just highlighted is like it's a conscious decision, mm. and so and I think that's the power that our matua have and, and our kai matua mm. in terms of raising tamariki mokopuna. Um, is that, you know, the conscious decisions that you and Ty mm. make um, for your babies are going to influence their whole life, like yeah, really, yeah. and those crucial moments. So decision making oh, yeah. is really hard, and but it's important mm. for our matua and our kuia karaua who are raising their mokopuna, who are raising tamariki, your um, decisions that mm. you make. How So how did you and Ty come to the... I guess the conclusion, you're uplifted, you've moved to Otaki, um, you're catching the train to the university, which, you know, that's two hours of your time mm. um, away from your, your tamariki. Um, like you said, who's picking up baby? But how have you navigated through that in this new lifestyle? Because yeah. of te reo, I would say, is a big mm. driver behind this yeah. shift. The decision 
Like it, it just all sort of fell into place once yeah. we made the decision, you know. And then um, we've got beautiful neighbours, quarter oh, Māori on both awesome. sides, you know, who are the brothers. The privilege yeah. of having that too, eh? Yeah. Like, um, it's really, it sadly, oh, is a a rarity. The it's the first time in my life I've had that. Yeah. You know, we've we've grown up and you know, um, hapori Māori up in yeah. Ahipara, and Ahipara, you know, like Hapori Māori to Tiriti must be. Yeah. Wow, well, you know, <laughs> Kenuinga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, te nuinga he pakeha hoi no he um yeah he, ara e tahi unga you know ota unga fano reo Maori e, um yeah so yeah but I think I uh, you know t- t- uh, it was a decision that was deliberate on both of our parts yeah. um but you know I am aware of our privileges and I am aware of the fact that we're older parents yeah. we're resource parents so we did Qualified have that luxury parents, yeah. yeah that luxury of um where we choose to live so mm. that's not a luxury that all of our whanau have yeah absolutely um, yeah it's a challenge for our whanau and I think if um it, yeah, it, it requires long-term planning. So that was a long-term plan that was kind of almost like a three- to four-year plan yeah. um, where we slowly decided, like, yeah, okay, you know, this is what we're going to do. Gonna so do. do yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. And I think, like, that's just on that corridor is, like, um, I've heard, you know, that te reo Māori me toa o Māori, um, it is the rongoa for uplifting some of our whanau. And, like, I, I know you're pro this and around people, um, and it's in the report as well, is that people are moving um, for real Māori employment opportunities, mm, which yeah. is something that isn't, I don't think it's talked about um, mm. at all, really. But I think because, you know, the number of our speakers is growing, our tamariki are proud to be Māori, mm, and yeah. and our mm. pakeke, yeah. again, that reclaiming space. So um, there are employment opportunities now for those skills, which is a huge shift. Mm. Um, and I think people are starting to recognise I guess the status, the values and attitudes behind mm. supporting Te Reo Māori is changing, which is exciting mm. um, for us so that it is normal. Yeah. Again, why is it not normal? Mm. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, um, yeah so yeah. industries do need to recognise yeah. the fact that um, there's demand for this and there's there availability, Absolutely. you know. So we have speakers who are qualified people yeah. in different fields, Absolutely. you know. So, and a big mihi to our kura kaupapa. Oh, yes. And all of, all of our, um, you know, those who, who have kuafafai mo tēnei kaupapa. Oh, e tēnei taonga, you know, kia puta mai e nei rangatahi ki te ao. Um, and ko te reo Māori, hei tika, ai te wā papa. So, um, yeah, yeah. So, I mean... Um, we yeah we need we need to to recognise that actually um, yeah there is value in te reo, um, but also that we're not um, you know tokenistically appointing. There's a um, line, eh? yeah. there's that fine line of like oh, I'll get you just to do You're the Maori, so what, you do everything yeah. Maori rather and than so recognise those skills and that, yeah, that, the that asset you bring to the organisation. I think is huge. Yeah. Um, well, I think I've probably picked your brain quite a bit and I really enjoyed this session and mihi ana kia koe um, awa nui mo o kōrero uh, kua whāngai hea kia tātou katoa e whakarongo mai anai mātaki hoki ana so just to wrap up if you could give me three quick oh. bullet points just three <laughs> quick points um Around what you're most excited about in the book yeah so I'm I'm, I'm most excited about um Actually, having a, a resource that can be um, accessible to our whānau, you know. <laughs> yes. So, like, this is my first um, book that's, you know, not a report, that's yeah. not a, not a thesis, so, that's not a journal, yes. you know. And, like, so it's a book that people can pick up. And I've read. specifically asked for the cost not to exceed $30. Yeah. Um, so that, it, you um, know, it's in the... <laughs> tika, yeah. Mm. Get, get, yeah. Um, so, you know, um, yeah, so that's the first one is having it accessible. The second thing is um, I hope that there are some tips that um, Fano can apply. So at the end of every chapter, I've I've put in some questions to Wānanga. That is so, really helpful. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> a useful uh, book. Yeah, <laughs> you know, sometimes yeah. you read a book and you're like, so what do I get out there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's well, book for God. But yeah. that is really helpful. Mm. Oh so, gosh. yeah, so it can That's be really used exciting. as like book club or, yes. you know, you can actually I love talk that through some of those, aspect um, of it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then the last thing I suppose would be, um, yeah, so obviously we do talk through some of the language trauma stuff yes. and actually looking at the root mm. causes of yeah. um, 
of how knowledge about some of those um, those trauma can actually inform how we respond to those trauma. So mm-hmm. actually giving us some tools to think about, okay, how well, yeah, how to navigate this mm-hmm. um, very tricky space. Go and buy the book. Like, I know it'll be amazing. <laughs> I haven't even seen it, but if, based on the rangaho and the pūrongo, um, I know it's going to be excellent and also know the calibre of your mahi, yours, Thai and Maureen and actually just want to really tuku mihi yeah, anō yeah. um, kia koutou ngā pai o te marama tanga, oh, ngā koutou te, te pūtea tautoko um, e tēnei o ngā puka puka and don't we just love it when collaboration works tika. and you know we could even look at it from te whare o te reo mauri o Rispin and it, it all works and mm. so mihi ana kia koe um, awa nui, no doubt you will be back. I feel like we'll find another kaupapa that we can talk to. Aww. And I've really, it's a good mihi ana kia koe mō o korero. Me te whāngai atu ki te katoa, mm. um, ki o tatou. E, e ngā kai nui ana ki tō tatou reo, so e mihi ana kia koe. Oh, o tira kia koe hoki e wha. <laughs> yeah, o tira, yeah, kia, kia koutou o te mātaa wai. Mm. E hāpai ana i e nei o ngā kaupapa. Mm. So ki te kore he, he pūtea, hei oh, tautoku i e nei o ngā tika. kaupapa. Um, ka rehe kuhu ngā mā mātou. Um, so, yeah, ngā mihi kia koe. Um, yeah, kia ora, wha. Kia ora. Yeah.